You know, these old Dragon Ball games really still have some charm to them. The great music, the sound effects, everything just comes together to really serve the core focus that is the fighting. And this all feels especially good when you're playing as your favorite character. And for a guy like me, that's Vegito. Now, while I can't pick him in this game, it is pretty simple to get him. You just have to charge up your key, land this move, simply click the right button. Simply click the right Simply click the right button. I'm going back to fighters. Okay, so now that we've switched games, getting Vegeta was actually super easy. All I had to do was put $5 onto my Steam account, and bam, he just showed right up. Simple as that. And now that I've paid the $5 price, I can finally find out if Vegito is worth it. I just realized it's too late. I, I already paid for the character. But while it may be too late for me, it's not too late for you, the viewer. Thanks, Mom. So just like last time with Super Saiyan Goku, we're going to go ahead and start off with Vegito's cons, then go into his pros, and then wrap it up by talking about where he fits on a team. I'm going to go ahead and start off the cons for Vegito with one that isn't really that tied into his gameplay overall, but Vegito has a lot of traits that really differ him from the rest of the Dragon Ball Fighters cast, meaning he's not that approachable for new players, which is a very interesting decision considering he's Vegito. You know, he's the character that a lot of people are going to pick first when they load up Dragon Ball Fighters on a friend's console, and Vegito won't help you get comfortable with the majority of the cast just by playing him like a character like, say, Super Saiyan Goku, for example. Things like the way his buttons go into each other, his down heavy not operating like most other down heavies in the game, making it so you can't do the usual combo off of it. I will say though, it does keep you in the air for a crazy amount of time, so it's perfect for that situation you always get into online. When you're just randomly super jumping and a Team Gohan decides to random level 3, you can just down heavy right over that sucker. Makes for a great and usable punish. 10 out of 10, the Vegito tech doesn't get better from here. As far as other cons go, Vegito is once again another character that that really suffers from not having a down light that hits low. Meaning once again we have a character who suffers on offense because he doesn't know how to kick while crouching. I'm usually pretty forgiving when it comes to this, you know, the technique is very hard to master what with the whole crouching and then kicking part, but in Vegito's case it really is unacceptable considering that 100% of Vegito already knows how to do this. Both Goku Blue and Vegeta Blue can do this on a whim. Not really sure what Vegito chose to do with that information, but it's pretty much been trashed at this point. And I know when hearing that it sounds bad, but it's not really as bad as Super Saiyan Goku's case because Vegito actually has some really interesting block strings. Because of the way Vegito's attacks work, you're actually going to want to supplement your lack of mix-ups with just trying to bait your opponent into unsafe decisions. Hit him with a light, hold it, and then get that second light in there. Or hit him with a light, once you condition him to keep blocking, just dragon rush him. It's these kinds of things that you're going to want to implement onto your offense when playing Vegito. The last con I wanted to talk about before moving on to the positives was Vegito's assist. It's not really too great. Vegito just kind of leaps up in the air and throws five fireballs. It wouldn't be too bad if they were more focused like Vegeta's assist, but in this case Vegito opts to go for the shotgun strategy meaning most of them miss and the ones that do hit are very hard to actually get conversions off of. Far from the worst assist in the game but pretty hard to use nonetheless. Unless of course your opponent's down to like a very small amount of health then yeah, I guess it's actually really good. And now we can finally start talking about what makes Vegito a really fun character in my opinion starting with his insane corner carry on his combos. If Vegito hits you anywhere on the screen he can get you to a corner if he wants to. These combos won't always be the most damaging, but they will get you into the corner to set up for even more damage. Unfortunately, you know, we don't have the best mix-ups in the corner, but you know, we take what we can get. Vegito also does a pretty healthy amount of damage too. Even the suboptimal stuff with no assist is going to net you below 5,000 points of damage. They even set you up to add on supers if you would like to. Now it is important to note that in order to do a lot of these combos and keep the opponent in the corner, Vegito does have to spend some bar to perform a vanish, and I can understand how that might seem like a negative, but I didn't put it in the con simply because Vegito actually builds a ton of meter with his spirit sword. So I figure, you know, it's kind of like a net neutral, so not a pro, not a con, just a fact I can take up a lot of time in this video with. <clears throat> Moving on. I also want to give credit to Vegito simply because of how flexible he is. Not a lot of characters have a level 1 super and a level 3 super in the air, and those can come in very clutch if you have the meter and need to pick up an important kill. Funny enough, Vegito is also flexible in the traditional sense, that being that his body contorts in all sorts of ways to make his normals have really decent range. I can't tell you the amount of times I've been hit by his light jab simply because I wasn't ready to block anything at that range. If you take all the pros and cons I've listed in this video so far, I think you can get a pretty clear picture that Vegito is probably a character you'll want to run at the point position, what with his lacking assist and great block strings. 
Any assist that can help him put the pressure on and ease the pain of not having great mix-ups is a great addition to Vegito. There's also some teams out there that allow Vegito to have access to a double super, so I think if you want to run those teams, that's definitely something to consider. If you want a team specifically picked by me, I do have a couple I can list off here for you. We've got Team Super Saiyan Blue, the Goku Black Arc, so can I call you Dad or...? And an actual really good Vegito team that I strongly recommend trying out. Regardless of the team you play, I think you'll find Vegito Blue to be a really fun character, and I would strongly recommend you play him if you're into extremely flashy combos, normals that come out extremely fast, and really over-the-top animations. And I, I guess if you're not into those, then I don't recommend playing him. I mean, he's pretty good, but if you, if you don't like that, I mean, you can play Kid Buu. He's a pretty good character. That's it for me. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below. While you're down there, if you like this video and want to see more like this from the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya. Feel free to let me know your character suggestions for the next one, and I'll see you in the next video.